you believe it, Jason? This is going to change our lives. What's going to change our lives, Damien? The ship we've spent billions of dollars on, or this weird-looking satellite thing? Well, obviously, Special Octopus is going to change our lives more, I mean. Whoever thought that we would be fleeing the planet on a giant spaceship? Couldn't have been me. No, this... This is going to change our lives in a different way. And what exactly is it? Well, I'm not actually sure what's inside of it. I just commissioned the guys at the lab to create something that would adapt. Create something that would adapt? You're not saying what I think you're saying. That's right, Jason. In that satellite, there is potentially a lab-created life form that can adapt to any environment. Now, why would you want to create that? Think about it. There's only a week left before Spatial Octopus launches, and we don't know who else is out there. What if we land on an already inhabited planet? Those life forms are going to need reassurance that we're not there to kill them, you know? We always assume that aliens are out to get us. I just don't want aliens to think that we're out to get them. So if I understood you correctly, you got scientists to create a life form that could adapt to any environment just to tell alien life forms that we are good. Yep. Well, if we've ruined the planet to the point of evacuation, are we really good? Aw, oh, come on, Jason. Help me launch this thing. All right, preparing to launch. Everything looking okay back there, Jason? Everything looks ready to be launched, sir. All right, you may want to stand back. Getting ready to send this thing to space in three, two, one? What? A military vehicle? I thought all militaries disbanded last year. Huh. It's the General's helicopter. Oh, great. Damien Remy. You are not authorized to launch any vessel here, today. Ah, General Matthews, hello! If I recall correctly, you no longer have any sort of authority, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch this. What was that? You know, since every military was disbanded, you no longer have any authority. I'm going to launch this anyways. Yeah, look, I can't hear you. You're really far away. Okay, wait, repeat that? Oh, I'm just going over there. What do you want, Matthews? Look, Damien. You're not authorized to launch this technology here, especially if something dangerous is in there. What do you mean, something dangerous? Look, I came over here and landed so fast because I spoke to one of your specialists. Whatever's in there, it's not stable. It wasn't ready. Well, the last time I spoke to someone, they said it was, so... Boop. No! <laughs> Damien Remy, you are under arrest. Ugh, for what? Whatever my scientists cooked up in there, I promise that it's only for good. You really think I'm going to listen to you after what happened to the Wonder Dream? You know how many lives were lost? Innocent lives. You think your company is trustworthy? Because I don't trust it. Okay, I get it. Look, you better start trusting me. Because Space Shuttle Octopus, the ship I created, is the only way we're going to get off this dying planet. The planet that's dying thanks to companies like yours. And government organizations like yours. <sighs> Come on, Jason. You have to get ready for the other launch. Yes, right. Hey, Rami. <sighs> what? If this doesn't work, if something goes wrong, you're done. Thank you for the warning, but let me assure you that nothing will go wrong.
start my day. Let's get to work. Thank you for saving us from the tyranny of Yurik. Oh, come on. That was two years ago. But you're welcome. Good morning, Spatial Octopus. Good morning, Damien. Good morning, Alec. It looks like today is going to be a good day. Are you ready to go up to the captain's room? You bet I am. Come on. What's up? You know, we're coming up now on the two-year anniversary of Yurik's defeat, and I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You know, you tell me that every day, <laughs> and so does every passenger. Yes, because it's so tiresome being praised all the time. <sighs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> hey, listen. Since it's the two-year anniversary, I have something special planned. Really? Well, what is it? See, that's the thing I can't tell you. Because it's a surprise for you. A surprise? For me? Ooh, I'm excited. Really? Because you don't seem that excited. I'm sorry, was that reaction not big enough for you? Ah, a surprise! For me? What could it be? I'm out of my seat, man, what is it? See, now that's too big of a reaction. Come on, let's gather the passengers. Hey, what's that giant thing? It's taking up like half the stage. Hmm? Oh, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Hello, Space Riddle Octopus! It's your captain, Damian Ramy, along with your co-captain, Alec Reynolds, here to deliver a very important message. It has now been a little over two years since the evil Yurik betrayed mankind and tried to take over Space Shuttle Octopus. Which means it's also been a little over two years since Alex said no to his master plan and pushed him off the ship right before we went into space. Come on, we can do better than that. Let him hear it. If I hadn't met Alec, Yurik would have taken the ship and crashed it on Earth, leaving nobody alive but his followers. Yeah. Boo to that guy. Glad he's gone. So, from everyone working on Space Shuttle Octopus and every passenger, a sincere thank you. And to commemorate the anniversary, I'd like to unveil for the first time ever this statue. To be placed on whatever planet we end up landing on so that future generations can remember the person who, let's face it, basically saved humanity. Let's give him another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He deserves it. I don't know what to say. I really don't deserve this. Damien, you shouldn't have. But you do deserve it, my friend. You're the hero of Space Shuttle Octopus. Now, come on, let's pose for pictures. 
What in the world? Huh? Oh, uh... Malfred, you have anything to add, my friend? No. Uh, Malfred? What are you doing? No. No. What the heck? She said yes! I think, right? She, said yes. she did! Mm -hmm. Round of applause, everybody! This cow's getting hitched! Malfred's getting married? I can't believe it, Malfred. You're keeping things secret from me now? No. I'm not saying that you had to tell me you were going to propose. I'm just saying that it would have been nice to know. No. Yeah, I get it. You don't have to tell me everything. Why are you so angry about this? No, no. That's true. I did get angry first. No. Look, Malfred, I'm sorry. I always just assumed that your thing with the creature was, you know, an on and off thing. Over the past two years, I didn't think it would get serious enough to warrant marriage. No. I'm sorry. I, I just didn't think that it would last. I mean, Malfred, let's be honest. Look at her. No. Okay, I didn't mean for that to come out that way. <laughs> hey guys, hope you have your party pants on, because we got a wedding to play- Did I walk into something? <sighs> uh... No, we were just talking about planning Malfred's wedding. Hmm? <laughs> oh, great. Malfred, when do you want to get married? Hmm... <laughs> hmm... Tomorrow? You want us to plan an entire wedding for tomorrow. Awesome! I'll get right on it! <sighs> Malfred, is this really what you want? Do you really want to get married to the creature? No. <sighs> well, if that's what you want, I'll support you all the way, pal. No. Hmm. No. I love you too, buddy. Man, the statue was nice, but... This, this is something else. There better not be any more surprises on this ship for today. As a matter of fact, I did. It sounded like a loud boom, as if something were crashing onto the ship. Yeah. Perhaps as the ship's guards, we should go investigate. Yeah, I agree. Alright, well... Go on. Wait, you want me to go investigate alone? It's the responsible thing to do. Now go, I'll be here waiting for you. Oh boy. Hey! Ship's guard! Something crashing here? Whoa. What is that thing? But well, whatever it was, definitely crashed down. Hey, we need uh, somebody up here to put out the fire. Hey, did you read me? We got a fire up here. We need someone to put it out. Radio's not working. in there. Up there, it uh, it actually uh, started a fire. Yeah, you might want to go call someone to go put it out. It's pretty bad. 
Whoa, what started a fire? Any idea what it was? Hey, any idea what it was? No clue. Come on, everybody, keep it moving. We have until tomorrow afternoon to get this wedding set up. That's right, tomorrow afternoon. Boy, what a deadline. You know what this room needs? A big fancy carpet. Here we are, party room two. Hey, come on, pick up the pace, man. All guards were called over to help out with the wedding. Right. Uh, you can stay and help with the wedding. I'll go explore the ship. Hey, man, are you okay? I've been acting kind of strange ever since you inspected that crashed object. I'm fine. I'm going to go explore the ship. O okay, fine. I guess I'll stay and help with the wedding. Jeez. Okay, the carpet can't get here until the morning. That's fine. Hey, you there. Isn't there supposed to be another guy helping you out? Uh, well, yeah, but he said he was gonna go explore the ship. Whatever that means. What? You're the guards. Haven't you explored this ship enough? Come on, we need all hands on deck, people. Hey, how much time would it take to replace all of this floor with wood and paint all of the walls white? I guess I'll have time to figure that out later. Damien Rami. General Matthews? I completely forgot you were on the ship. I haven't seen you in like two years. I mean, I knew you were always on board. <laughs> I'm the captain, come on. So, what can I help you with? Because I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, don't worry, this won't take long. I'm just dropping by to congratulate you. And, uh, I guess, uh, to apologize. See, after that whole Yurk thing, I thought Space Shuttle Octopus was a failure for sure. But you managed to turn it around, and we've been pushing along pretty good ever since, so, you know. Uh, thank you for keeping everything going. And also, congratulations to your friend the cow who's, uh, getting married. Wow. That's actually pretty nice. Thank you, General Matthews. Say, a long time ago, before the ship took off, you told me that if something ever went wrong, I would be done. So, during the whole Yurik situation, where were you? Why aren't I, you know, done? Rami, please. I was in the dark about the takeover, just like every other passenger on the ship. But, I will admit, if I had known... I would be done? Yeah. But again, you took care of it. And for that, I'm, uh... I'm, I'm proud of you. So, you know, keep up the good work. Uh, thank you, General Matthews. Or, can I just call you Matthews? I mean, you're not really a general anymore. Yeah, Matthews works just fine. Got it. But remember, even after the whole Yurik thing, what I said still stands. If you mess up, you're done. Okay. Come on, guys, let's keep moving these tables. And where's the white paint? Alfred. Hey, Malfred. I guess today is the big day. You're getting married. That's right, Malfred. Somehow Damien managed to pull it off. You're getting married the day after you proposed. Although, you know, you could have given us more time to set it up. Hmm. It's alright. I knew Damien could do it. Now come on! We have to get you ready! So have you decided on what you're going to wear? Hmm. Huh. Just a tie. Nice. Alright! Let's try to make this the best day of your life! Oh! Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't see you coming. I should really look where I'm- Ah! It's quite alright. These things happen. Yeah, right. Is everything okay? Uh, it's nothing. Just a really important day. I don't want to mess it up. Well, good luck with that. I'll go ahead and be on my way. Right. Thank you. Wait, you forgot your... Helmet. Huh. Mm -hmm. You 
Go ahead and start to get ready, Malfred. Uh, I'll catch up. Hmm. Yeah, I just have to go investigate something. It won't take long. I promise I'll be there on time. Hmm. <laughs> Where is he going? That's a restricted area. H Hello? I saw you go in here. I know you're a guard, but you don't have clearance for this room. It's for the elite guards. You know, they have the slightly different helmet? Ah, there you are. Hey, look, you can't be in here. Hi? Hello? You were talking to me just fine a minute ago. Hey, I know you may think you have special privileges as a guard, but I'm the co-captain, and you have to pay attention to your superiors. What in the... Whoa, what the... I can see that you're not a guard. My bad. Malfred? No. Don't worry, Malfred. This is going to be the best day of your life. No. Don't worry, Malfred. Alec is bound to show up eventually. Eventually. Excuse me. Excuse me, leader of the guard coming through. Sorry I'm late. Oh, hi Jane. Don't worry, you're not late. We're just about to get started. Oh, great. So, uh, where's Alec? Yeah, Alec is late. Wow, late to his own cow's wedding. How are you feeling, Malfred? Yeah, he's terrified. Come on, Alec, where are you? What is that thing? Tried harder in gym class. Ah, the cars. Where did you go? It's just me, the guard. Hello? Are you over here? Are you hiding because I tried to hit you with my... arm? That was a mistake. I'm sorry. It's just that you were following me, and I was intimidated. You're going to have to show yourself eventually. Why hide? Sorry, Malfred. We have to start the wedding. Looks like Alec isn't going to show up. Hmm. Hey, put thing on the bright side. You're getting married. Hmm. Here she comes. Hmm.
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the union of Malfred and the creature. All right, I'll admit it. Cat's out of the bag. I'm not really a guard. Well, I think you figured that out. Alfred, except to be with the creature till death do you part. Hmm. Did I get it? Ah. Uh, uh, where did it go? <laughs> and do you, the creature, accept to be with Malfred till death do you part? <laughs> no, don't go in there! <laughs> well, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you... Everyone, get out, it's not safe in here! Hmm... Alec? What are you doing? Damien, come on, you have to help me get everybody out of here! There's this weird pink blob monster and it's chasing me all over... Huh? Where did it go? Uh... Alec? There's nothing there. No, Damien, there was something there, there was something chasing me, and it was going to go in here, but then I... Th ah, there it is! Stay out of my cow's wedding, you... Ah. Ah. Ow. Good going, man. You saved us from the cake. Alec, what are you doing? Blah. Huh, strawberry. Uh, I'm sorry everyone, but uh, Damien, you have to believe me, there was this thing and it was- Alec, why did you just smash into the cake and knock out a guard? What? Oh, the thing that was chasing me is this exact shade of pink. And uh, the guard? I didn't see him there, I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah, okay. Listen, I'm gonna need a word with you outside. Oh good, because Damien, I am telling you, this thing is- Shut it! A word? Outside. Now. Let me at least try to explain what happened in there. Come on, Alec, you didn't have to do that. It was Malfred's big day. I'm telling you, I didn't do it on purpose. I, I saw something out there. Oh, zip it, will you? The guards already checked the perimeter. It was clear the entire duration of the wedding. There was nothing there. Then tell them to check again. There's no point, you made it up. It tried to attack me, I could have died! Tell them to check again! Alec, please. We both know you never approved of Malfred being with the creature, but you didn't have to go and ruin their wedding. Come on, man. Get it? Through your thick skull, I did not ruin the wedding on purpose! Alec, please. I'm going to go comfort Malfred and the creature. Let's hope their big day isn't completely ruined thanks to you. Oh, you're gonna be like that? Fine, whatever. Who needs you? Actually, Alec, I'm the captain, so everybody needs me. Yeah, well, I'm co-captain. Who made you co-captain? I built this entire company, this entire ship, all before I ever met you, so don't start talking about who needs who, because I definitely never needed you. Okay. Uh, maybe you went a little too far? No, I meant it. You certainly didn't seem to care about who was going too far at the wedding, did you? Hmm?
job, hero. I crashed the wedding. How could he accuse me of crashing the wedding? Here's a hot take. Maybe the wedding was crashed from the very beginning. I mean, what was it? The matrimony of a cow and a, a, a creature? I shouldn't have said that. It was an important date on Alfred. It was probably also important to the creature. Maybe staring into the vast nothingness of space will help me feel better. Whoa, what was that? Some sort of ship? It's headed right for me! Ugh. said that? Oh no. Where are you? My name is Gregory. I'm here to help. There's nobody here. Get back to your ship. That is the stupidest thing I could have possibly said. It, it's okay. I'm not here to hurt anybody. I've come to defeat Yurik. Yurik? Yeah, I've come to defeat Yurik. Is he not here trying to take over the ship? Uh... No? Wait. He's not here? He's not here? This is great! <laughs> Take that, Yurik! I beat you here! <laughs> Hold on a minute, what are you talking about? Yurik was defeated years ago. Years ago? Hold on, so did I show up too early or too late? Too early or too late for what? What did you say your name was again? Oh, Gregory. But you could just call me Greg. Okay, Greg. What are you talking about? You see, years ago, Space Shuttle Octopus left Earth. And of course, people who couldn't afford a ticket were left behind. I was one of those people. I was doing a job to try to smuggle someone onto the ship, but it was shot down by someone who was praising a man named Yurik. Blah blah blah, a bunch of stuff happens, I end up learning that Yurik is a man set on taking over the ship. He built some fancy armor and blasts off into space. That's when I take this ship and decide to follow him. And by the looks of it, I've gotten here before him. Say, so, you now that's nice. Wait, so let me get this straight. Not only is Yurik alive, but he is also on his way here. Yep, that's why I've shown up. To protect you guys. No, 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 no. No, no, no! And this has to happen on the day when Damien is angry at me. Damien? Like, Damien Rami? Yeah, he's the captain. Well, I know that. It's in all of the ads. I'm Damien Rami. Welcome to Space Shuttle Lock. Don't quote that commercial. Duh. Wait, where are you going? <sighs> to tell Damien. I just hope he's still not upset about the wedding. Wait, what happened at a wedding? Duh, he thinks I crashed my cow's wedding. Wow, there is so much to unpack with that sentence. Oh, right, I should probably come too. <laughs> Maybe I went too far. Okay, yeah, I went too far. I should go find him. Apologize. What the heck is that thing? <laughs> oh. Oh. Jane, can you hear me? I need all available security up on the bridge, now! Uh. Uh. What? Damien! Oh, son of a... I'm back! And I've become more powerful than the last you threw me! Uh. Oh no! Metal Cyclops, dude, we meet again! I'm sorry, I'm having some trouble remembering. Have we met? Oh, you'll find that we have. 
Jason. I mean, uh, Yurik. You're alive. How's it been going? Things are actually going pretty well, thanks for asking. I built this sweet armor, and uh, I've come here to kill you. Yay! Ah! Do. Jane, I'm not sure if you heard my last message, but I still require assistance. What? Why is the emergency alarm going off? Oh no. He's here. Yeah, or it could be the weird pink blob that attacked me earlier. What? Yeah, there's a lot you need to catch up on. <laughs> Attention men! The emergency alarm is on, and the captain is in danger! Are you ready to bring your A-game to this fight? Yes, captain! I need to use the restroom, Captain. Well, hold it in. Now let's move, people. <coughs> Why do people install these alarms? So annoying. Anyways, where were we? Oh yes, I was just about to kill you. Ah! Ah! Stop right there! Ah! 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 Oh, it took down the elite guys in seconds! Come on, let's show Miss Richie we're the best guy she's got! <laughs> oh my! Okay, we are not the best guy she's got! <laughs> are you alright? Jane! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jane! This isn't how things were supposed to play out, Damien! You were supposed to be left behind on Earth, but no, you had to come back! Yurik! Let him go! Wait, you? H hold on, let... Uh, I remember who you are, it's just... Uh, did you ever give me a name, or... <laughs> I've been waiting years to do that. Get up, get up, you miserable metal sack! Ugh. Whoa, where did Duke even get that armor? I honestly don't really know. Damien! Uh, Damien, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, get Jane and the others to a medical center and get this guy in a detention block. Damien, I think you also require medical attention. No. I'm fine. All he did was throw me against the wall. Damien! Captain Rami! What? What happened? Oh, thank goodness you woke up. After Yurik's attack, you fell unconscious. Yeah. Right. Yurik. Where is he now? We have him in a special cell. He won't be able to escape. Are you sure? Yes, we're sure. Look, just lie back down. You still need lots of rest. No, I'm fine. I don't need rest. Where's Jane? Yurik hit her pretty bad. She's in a coma. The doctors aren't sure when she'll wake up. She's fine, though. He's gonna be fine. Where is he? Uh, Yurik? Yeah. Take me to him. Hey, Damien! Slow down! Damien! I have to talk to Yurik right now. There's not a moment to lose. Yeah, I know, but slow down a little! Hey. How did one of these get out here? Damien! Huh. He's been passed out for quite a while. 
Hope he's not dead. Oh, uh, Captain Rami. Hi, who are you? Right, introductions. Uh, hi, I'm Greg. I'm actually the guy who stopped Yurik back there. Oh, that's great. Thank you. If you excuse me, I have to go speak with him. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll chat later? Uh, yeah. Sorry if that wasn't the first meeting you'd imagined. He's uh, kind of in a rush right now. Yeah, I can see that. Well, better keep moving. Oh, uh, Captain Rami, a large asteroid field approaches. Not now. Oh, okay, I'll just tell the asteroids to wait until you finish doing what you're doing. <laughs> Is this it? <sighs> yeah, this is it. He's right behind that door. All right. Damien. Be careful. Well, this definitely looks like the kind of place to put bad guys in. Eric, welcome back to Space Shuttle Octopus. Now tell me, why are you back? Go ahead. You can talk to me. You were talking to me just fine earlier when you decided to attack the ship. Do you remember that? Do you remember hurting all of those guards? But I guess it doesn't matter to you who you hurt on the way to completing your grand master plan. Which, by the way, was just so stupid. I mean, what were you going to do? Blow up the ship and then begin life anew with your followers on Earth? That's just... Come on, man. So, tell me. Why. Are. You. Back. Come on. Say something! <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> you don't get it, Damien. You never will. This ship was meant to be different. But instead, it's just the same as the rest of your company's creations. And now you're out, trying to figure out what to do how to space, and you just haven't got a clue. <laughs> Don't you see, Damien? You weren't supposed to make it this far. <laughs> Don't you see? <laughs> I was supposed to be Yorick, savior of man. And you know why that is? Because I knew that if you made it out to space, you would not last. Humans are so self-destructive, they ruined the Earth, and they'll ruin the next planet they'll inhabit, but unfortunately, they'll tear each other apart before they get there. 
You'll learn to thank me, Dame. You know, you will thank me. Because when this ship starts to fall, you'll wish that my plan had come to fruition. Oh, yes. <laughs> You've gone completely insane. All those years floating through space must have done a number on you. Have the years of floating through space not done a number on you, Captain Damien Ramy? <laughs> Look, Yurik, you lost. End of story. It's all going to fall, Damien. It's all going to fall, and when it does, I will ask you, who really lost? So what did he say? Well, he didn't mention how he got that armor, but then again I never asked him. And um, as for why he's back, he didn't mention that either. Well then figure it out. Get back in there and get it out of him. I honestly don't think that's really necessary. I mean, we have him. He's in there, he's locked up. What more can we really do? Are you kidding me? Two times in one day? Actually, this is the first time the alarm is going off for today. Wait, so Yurik breaking in was yesterday? Why did you tell me how long I was out? Uh, Captain Ramy, those asteroids I was telling you yeah, about- Yeah, no, I'm assuming we're about to crash into them because, you know, the alarm is going off. I, I was able to figure out that they're a threat. We'll talk about Yurik later. Come on, Alec, we have to go deal with this asteroid thing. Well, you can stay in my room for the time being. Here's the car to get in, and, uh, well, uh, let's see you when this thing is done. Okay. Well, so far, it doesn't really seem like they're a threat. They're just kind of passing by. Yeah, except for that one coming right towards us. What? Turn, turn, turn! I'm turning! Oh, that was close. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't ruin that turn. Just like you ruined the wedding. Oh, come on, it's not really the best time. Ugh. Are... Are you seeing this? It's... It's... The entire field. What do we do? Just swerve. Swerve like your life depends on it. Which in this case it does. Look out! Ah! Whoa. That's some turbulence. They said asteroids, right? I bet I could help with that. Time to kick some Roy. Is... is that a word? Doesn't matter. Alright, this should be fairly easy. Just blow up a bunch of asteroids. I've done that before. It's time to turn up the heat. What's that? Um, uh, it's his ship. Whose ship? Uh, uh, Greg's ship. Greg has a ship? Yeah, how do you think he came here? Alright, activating weapon systems, and... Bombs away. Asteroids. What the? How did he do that? Haha! <laughs> I did not think that was going to work! Oh no! <sighs> Honestly? That was a better landing than the last time. That was awesome. I have to go speak with this Greg guy. Wait, Damien. 
Yeah, my ship is going to need some serious repairs. Hey, uh, Greg! Huh? Greg, right? Listen, I'm sorry for kind of brushing you aside earlier. My mind was all over the place. I really wanted to talk to Yurik, but after what you just did... Hey, I get it. And you're welcome. I'm here. I'm here. Look, Mr. Captain Rami, sir, I've been voyaging through space for the last two years with one mission, stopping Yurik. And now that that mission is complete, I really don't have much left to offer, but... Assistance. Assistance? Yeah. Whatever you may need, as the captain, I'll be there to help you with whatever it is. It's the least I could do. I mean, I did kind of come out of nowhere. Well, when Yurik attacked, he left our friend Jane in a coma. She's the leader of the guard, and currently the guard has no leader. How would you like to temporarily lead the guard? What? Uh, Damien, can we talk about this? What is there to talk about? I mean, currently, the guard lacks a leader, and this guy shows up out of nowhere, and he's literally like the poster boy of leadership. Look at him. He's practically gleaming. Yeah, but he just got here, we barely know him, and that's a very high position. I don't know about this, Damien. Look, he stopped Yurik, and he just blew up a bunch of asteroids. I think that's leader of the guard worthy material. Look, Damien, you can't just make a decision that big, that quickly. Yes, I can. I'm the captain. Look, if this is giving you guys trouble, I can just... No, Ow. you're not trouble at all. Don't worry. Look, Damien, just take time to think about this. I'm co-captain and... Oh, really? And who made you co-captain? Oh, not this again. What, are you going to tell me that you built this entire ship, your entire company, without me? You never apologized for that, by the way. Really? I did not know I was obligated to apologize to you about that. Maybe you should have apologized for ruining your cow's wedding. Look, I am done trying to convince you that that wasn't on purpose. Even if it wasn't on purpose, shouldn't you still apologize? Okay, fine. I I'm sorry. That didn't sound sincere. I'm sorry for accidentally ruining Malfred's wedding. That's not what this is about. What is this about? Okay, clearly tensions are high between you two. You weren't lying when you said he was upset. Wasn't lying? You told him about that? What? It, it just came up. It just came up. Yeah, what do you want me to say? I'm, you, nothing. Just say nothing. Just just shut up. Really? Shut up. Yeah, shut up. Wow, that's, that's real mature, man. That is some real captain-like behavior. Look, I don't have to be the leader of any guard. Just stop fighting. It's making me uncomfortable. Oh, uh, right. I'm really sorry. I honestly forgot you were here while I was getting into it. Wow, you forgot he was here. Damien, please. You know what? Congratulations! You are now the leader of the guard! He's not gonna be the leader of any guard! Huh? Damien Rami, I am officially taking control of this ship! Matthews? That's General Matthews to you. You're taking control? I don't understand. Look, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, Rami. I had high hopes for you. After the whole Yurik thing, I really thought you had it figured out, but I guess I was wrong. Foolish of me to believe in you, to be honest, but now I'm here to take control of your ship. Why? Honestly, I'm surprised it didn't come sooner. Yurik comes back unexpectedly and destroys the upper levels of the ship? Leaves the leader of your guard unconscious? Kills two men? Not to mention that you almost crashed the ship into a bunch of asteroids, and to top it all off, the security cameras caught this running through the hallways. Do you know what that is? I certainly don't, but it's a problem I now have to deal with. So there really was something out there. Alec, I'm so sorry. So with all of that in mind, I have come to the conclusion that you, Damien Rami, are not currently fit to be the captain of this space shuttle. Please, General Matthews, just give me another chance. Whoa, whoa, I'm not just giving those out for free, Rami. These guys will go escort you to your rooms. Don't worry, you can still keep the captain sweet. You'll still keep your benefits and all that, so no need to whine about the lack of a pool. Do you think that really matters to me right now? I just want to be in control of my ship. Well, it's not your ship anymore. Now please, cooperate, unless you want things to get ugly. You don't want things to get ugly. 
Let's go, Alec. I always knew this day would come. Uh, who are you? I'll just go follow them to their rooms. Brighter days are coming for you, Space Shadow Octopus. Brighter days. Huh. I need something to pass the time. What do people do to pass the time? Count sheep. No, that's for when you're trying to sleep. Huh. What to do, what to do. What's that noise? A walking sign? Greetings. Yurik, was it? Um, I really hope I'm getting that right, because if I'm not, that would be a uh, rather embarrassing. What are you? Let me guess. Alien? Are you an alien? Well, I'm not an alien, but you can certainly say that I'm out of this world. Yeah, I know, that makes no sense. This, uh, this is a spaceship, is what it is. <clears throat> Listen, I came here to ask you something. To ask me something? Yep, uh, uh, that's all I want to do. I just want to ask you something. It's just one question, if I may. What is it? See, I couldn't help but notice how much Captain Rami wanted to speak with you. So I figured you must be someone important. Someone who's done things, bad things. Am I correct? Is that the question or is it the setup to the question? Oh, I'm sorry, it's the, it's the setup. I, I probably should have specified, but that's the setup. Yes, one could say that I've done bad things. Although my actions were only bad from the captain's perspective. The way I see things, my actions were saving the ship. <laughs> oh, is that so? If by saving the ship you mean destroying it, I want in. You want in? You, whatever you are, want to destroy the ship. Why? I have my reasons. Now listen up. I have a very unique and specific set of skills that... that I am more than happy to use if needed for the plan. So, what do you say? Interested in working together? Well, you do seem like a very interesting person to work with. So... I accept your offer. Ha <laughs> ha! Wonderful! So what are we doing first? You've demonstrated that you can change your shape. So listen very carefully, you shapeshifter. Uh-huh. This is what we're going to do. <sighs> well, come on! Get in! I'm going to! Jeez. Sorry, mate. Just doing my job. Hey, Malfred. I know I'm home early, but... I have just had the roughest day. Malfred? Me? Me. Me. Whoa, what's with the attitude, buddy? Me, me, me. Me, me. Oh, right. Look, Malfred, about the wedding. Whoa, easy there, buddy. Look, I am really sorry. I didn't want things to turn out that way, but I was being chased by this weird pink thing. But look, that doesn't matter right now. I'm just, I'm really sorry. Look, uh, we can set up another wedding and... Wait. The creature broke up with you? Yeah, Malfred, please. 
I I'm so sorry. I never would have imagined that this would happen. Hmm. Alfred, please, this was all just an accident. I've been your friend for years. You know I wouldn't do something like that on purpose. Right? Hmm. Alright. It seems that for the time being, I am not welcome in my own room, so... I'll be out in the hall. Not that you care, apparently. can go wrong. What was that? <laughs> oh no. Yurik has escaped. But how? I have to call someone. I have to... Uh! Now go. You know what to do. <laughs> Sir, we think there's been a break-in in your cell. What? Have you told the captain? Uh, you see, that's the thing. I, I don't really know who's in charge right now. Is it Matthews? Is it Rami? Ah! What's going on? Don't worry. The power just went out. The emergency generators should turn on at any moment. Ah! Ah! <laughs> what is that? Well, time to get settled in. Captain Ram, I mean, uh, Captain Matthews, Yurik has escaped. What? Yeah, and there's another problem. Fire at will! Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so much more fun than I thought it would be. Ow! Stand down, you abomination! Can you hear all that noise coming from the upper levels? Ah! Stop right there! Please, a saying stop right there ever actually stopped anybody. Oh, you elite space shuttle octopus guards, we could have been on the same side! Ah! I'll take this back. I've taken care of the guards on the upper levels. The bridge is all yours. Excellent. While I take control of the ship, go find Remy. Yay! This is the part I was waiting for. Finally! The emergency generators are online! I think somebody messed with our system, sir! You don't say! Remember, Yurik is extremely dangerous, so watch it! General Matthews, it seems that you are about to grant me access to the captain's chamber. J Jason, you're Yurik? I'm honestly a bit surprised that you didn't figure that out. I mean, <coughs> hold on there, General Matthews. I wouldn't even finish speaking. How rude. <coughs> now then, shall we get going? Ah. If you enjoy living, I recommend you stay there. Ah, control module. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Well, all we have to do now is wait for that shapeshifter. Matthews can't just take control like that. This is my ship. I need to find Alec. And 
apologize. What do I even say to him? Hey man, sorry I yelled at you about the wedding. Whoa, that pink blob thing is real. Crazy. Damien! Whoa, where did you come from? I came as quickly as I could. It is unfair of that General Matthews to take control of the ship the way he did. Come on, we have to go stop him as quickly as possible. So you're not mad at me anymore about what I said? Because I'm not mad at you anymore over the whole wedding thing. Hey, I'm not mad. You're not mad. Come on, bud. We're best friends. Now let's go stop this General Matthews thing together. I, I think he's in the captain's chambers. Well, hold on. We can't confront him just like that. We have to organize some sort of plan, like we did with Yurik. Uh, right. Uh, I think it would be best for us just to confront him in the captain's chamber, so follow me. Come on, man. We have to be smart about this. J I am being smart about this. He's waiting for us in the captain's chamber. He's waiting for us? I mean, he's, he's there. C come on. Alec, what's really going on here? Are you still upset? Ah! Uh, ow! Of course I'm not mad. We're best friends, you and I. Ah! Uh, Alec, please! Why? I told you, he wants us to meet him in the captain's chamber. I, I mean, he... he's waiting... I mean, just... Oh, whatever. Ah! 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 Ow! Ow! Yeah, that's gross. You're not Alec. Ah, shucks, you got me. Ah! Ugh. Oh, Remy, why couldn't you be better? Ah! Uh. <laughs> <coughs> wow! This one is fun. I'm surprised I didn't use it when I was attacking the guards. <sighs> Alright, seriously though, playtime is over. You do need to come with me. Ooh, but let me do this real quick. What's going on? I'm not afraid of you! I mean, I am a little, but you should be afraid of me! Why should you fear me? And why should I fear you? You are my creator. You gave me life, and for that, I am eternally grateful. What? What are you talking about? You don't know what I am, do you? Ah, yes. I remember. I remember you saying that the day you launched me into space. I overheard your conversation. You said you didn't know what I was, and that you just commissioned the guys at the lab. Commissioned them to create something that would adapt. And what was in that pod? The week before Spatial Octopus launched, you were in there. <laughs> That's right, Grammy! I am exactly what you asked for. I am capable of adapting to any environment as well as to any form. What's wrong? You're not happy? You don't seem happy. Oh, is it because Yurik is about to take over Space Shuttle Octopus again? <laughs> you set Yurik free? Why? Why are you helping him? Oh, <laughs> that's the question! That's the question, my friend! You see, I am helping him because I don't care. I don't care about his plan. I don't care about your plans. I don't care about anything. If you want to adapt to anything, you have to care about nothing. What? That sounds confusing? Does it make any sense? Well, guess what? I'm confusing it to make any sense, Robbie! Let me explain something to you. When I was alone, drifting through space for two years, it felt like an eternity. I realized something. I was created for the sole purpose of letting aliens know humans aren't a threat. <laughs> why do you have to let them know that? And why do you have to do it via a shape-shifting creature? It makes 
no sense. What was your line of thinking? I wanted to... It's just a... I tried to... Stop. I just... I thought I wanted to... Shut up! Even you don't know. You're just a stupid, insignificant, flesh-covered piece of useless human garbage. Wow, uh, that was, uh, really mean. I don't mean to sound like a Yurik, but you messed up Earth bad. And you don't deserve a second chance. So this is what's going to happen. I'm going to bring you to Yurik, he's going to do whatever it is he wants to do, and then I get out of all of this scotch. How does that sound? It sounds terrible, and I won't allow it. <laughs> You're fun. I wasn't kidding. Hey, you mind if I join you on the floor? Huh? Oh, uh, go ahead. So, what are you doing on the floor? You don't seem like the kind of person to do that. Or maybe you do it a lot. I don't know, I don't know you very well. I'm not usually on the floor, it's just... My cow kicked me out of the room. Oh. I see. You know, lately it's been feeling like everything is falling apart. And I can't do anything about it. You'd think that as co-captain I'd have answers, solutions, but I don't. I know this probably isn't going to help out, but you're technically not even co-captain anymore, considering Matthews took over. Thanks for the reminder, I had forgotten. Uh, I'm sorry, it's just... It's, everything was running so smoothly, and then, out of nowhere, BAM! Pink Blob Thing attacks the wedding. Boom! Yurik returns. Bam! Sham! Wham! Matthews takes over. It's just... It's a lot happening all at once, and... I don't know. It, it's, it, it's just a lot. And on top of all of that, I am currently not in good terms with the two most important people in my life. <sighs> Look, man. You just have to take a minute to relax. I'm sure that, in time... Everything is going to turn out okay. Really? Are you sure about that? Well, I'm not sure, but... You know, you just have to think positive. As for what's happening with your friends, that's going to be alright too. Listen to this. Back on Earth, I had a friend who actually turned to your side. He was really bad at being... Well... Bad. And eventually I convinced him to join the good side again. Actually helped me build my ship. Wait, so what are you saying? Is Damien like going to turn to your side or what? Oh no, 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 no! I, I, I was trying to get the point across that things are going to turn out okay because they turned out kind of okay with my friend. So you're saying that things are only going to turn out kind of okay? No, no. I, I, what I meant is, just, just th things are going to be fine. That, that, that's my point. Well, I'm not gonna lie. You had a little bit of trouble getting there, but I. I think I understand what you're trying to say, and, uh, thank you? Sorry, I've never done a things will get better talk before. Oh, no, don't worry about it, I thought you did a good job. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go fix my relationship with a cow. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This isn't fair. How come all you get is handcuffs, meanwhile I'm stuck in this big metal container? It, it just doesn't seem right to me. You know, this actually happened last time Yuri captured me. You see, I was trapped in this big metal apparatus. Meanwhile, all Alec got was handcuffs. You know, talking about the last time Yuri captured you isn't really helping me trust you any more than I did before. I know, it's just... You don't expect to be held captive by the same person twice, you know? I thought we were done with Yuri. And to be 100% honest... I had completely forgotten about that experiment. Experiment? 
Yeah, that's what that pink thing was in the security recording you showed me. It's a old experiment. Rami, if you're about to tell me that that pink monster, the one who killed innocent soldiers, is the same thing inside that pod I warned you not to launch, I'm going to punch you through the glass. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and it's helping Yurik. Oh, you son of a- ah! Whoa, I didn't think you were being serious about punching me through the glass. You are the most idiotic person I've ever met in my entire life. I tried to stop you from launching that thing into space, but no. You just had to get it up there. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Because you're Mr. Stupid King of the Idiots? Look, Matthews insulting me isn't going to do anything. The fate of the entire human species is at play here, Rami. The entire human species. So please... Try not to act like you haven't made a big mistake. Do you seriously think I ignore my mistakes? Because I don't. Some of them haunt me every day. Like the Wonder Dream, remember that? I know you do because you've brought it up before. Look, no offense, General Matthews, but every time you're angry at me, it seems like you're trying not to be angry at yourself. What the heck does that mean? Or what, are you trying to get psychological with me now? Do you see through me or something? Listen, I'm saying that you had the opportunity to deal with these problems before I did. What? Alright, you got my attention. Now elaborate. Why were you angry at me two years ago? Because you didn't trust my company and you didn't trust Space Shuttle Octopus, right? But I only made Space Shuttle Octopus to save people from the dying planet. The planet that was dying because of companies like yours and government organizations like yours. You had the power to save the planet, and you didn't. You wasted all of your money, all of your resources, on weapons. I mean, come on, man. You could have been using it to help the planet you were living on. Moving forward in time, why are you mad at me right now? Because I accidentally created this shape-shifting abomination? Because Yurik escaped? Sure, those are fair points. But... You took over the ship because you didn't think I was a good captain. Yurik escaped with the help of that monster while you were in charge. So, answer me this. If I was such a terrible captain, and you were supposed to be so much better than me, why didn't you stop him? Why are you in handcuffs? If the ship would have been so much better off with your leadership, why didn't you have the ability to stop them? You're right. I failed. We failed. This isn't about just letting one person take the blame, Matthews. We both have to take responsibility for what we've done. You're right. What's happened is as much because of me as it is because of you. Good evening, gentlemen. I have been sent by the great and powerful Yurik to collect you. To collect us? I think he means he's gonna bring us to Yurik. <laughs> ding, 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 you are correct, and oh, so very smart. Yeah, he needs you two to film some sort of video. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but... Come on. <clears throat> what the boss says goes. So, uh... Since when do you call Yurik boss? Oh, uh, are you trying to manipulate me so that I start to doubt Yurik's authority and eventually betray him? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Aw, oh, man. <clears throat> you too, Colonel Sanders, let's go. Oh, come on, that's mean. There they are. How are my two favorite prisoners holding up? What do you want from us, Yurik? We're already your prisoners. Oh, I just needed you to come over real quick so we could film a video. A video? See? I told you guys. You see, General Matthews helped me realize something. My first takeover of Space Shuttle Octopus wasn't publicly known. That must have contributed to its failure, right? Oh, right. Because forgetting to advertise your takeover is what led to its failure. Exactly! So now I'm going to film this video to let people know, Hey, I'm taking over, I've got your captain captive, and there's nothing you can do about it. Shapeshifter, grab the camera. I swear, Yurik, every time we talk you seem more and more off the rails. No, Rami, you're just afraid that after all this time, I'm finally going to win. Ah.
Alfred? It's me, Alec. I know you're mad at me, and rightfully so, but I've come to apologize properly. Alfred? I'm going to come in. Malfred? Malfred? So how are things going? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? He's... He's gone. He didn't even bother leaving a note. I don't know where he could be. Oh, uh... I'm sorry. You know the night before the wedding? I told him I didn't think his relationship would last. What kind of friend am I? Look, don't worry. This is just one spaceship. It's not like he's gonna get lost, and he couldn't have gone very far. We'll find him in no time. Well, if Malfred isn't here, then I need to find Damien and apologize to him. Hey, uh, what's that? What? An emergency broadcast? <coughs> Greetings, passengers of Space Shuttle Octopus. My name is Yurik. What? Oh no. You may not know who I am, but, but two years back, I took control of this ship without anybody finding out. Although my plans failed back then, this time, they will not. I have taken over the ship again, and all of you are going to die. <coughs> I've taken your captain as a prisoner, so there's nobody that's going to stop me. I won't bother explaining my entire plan to simple passengers such as yourself, so just rest easy, knowing that it's all going to be over soon. Wait up! Wait, where exactly are we going? To go save my best friend. Oh, alright. Let me go get my crossbow. Wait, you don't have it already on you? What? No. Do you see it? Okay, fine. Go get it, but get it quickly. I don't want to face Yurik alone. Don't worry. You won't. I really hope that sounded cool. Okay. Huh. Don't worry, Damien. I'm coming. Ah! You didn't think I knew you were gonna show up, did you? Ugh. Oh, great. Ah! Ah! Yes. Ow. I think I can beat you without using my blasters. Duh. Huh? Malfred! Cow! Come on, Malfred, get us out of here, buddy. Oh, for Pete's sake, could you just take these cuffs off? I have the combination to unlock it. Ah! Ah! Ugh. This is so much fun. Say, do you remember when you threw me off the ship? Wanna try being thrown off the ship? Ah! Uh, get crossbowed! Are you alright? Took you long enough. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, are we ready to go? Brr. You guys go ahead. I'm going to stay behind and help the soldiers that they attacked, and make sure that the passengers are safe. Good idea. What? Okay, we gotta go. Yurik is currently on the move. Then you better get going. Remy. Good luck. 
Not so tough without your fancy armor, huh, Yurik? Ah! Armor. That's it. I'll get Yurik's armor. <sighs> ah, no! My gauntlets! Ah! 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 Guys, we're here to help! Excellent. Wait, do you mean you're going to help them, or you're going to help me? Because I could really use some help. What do you think? Ah! Thanks, Malfred. Why, you little... You know what, Yurik? I still haven't quite figured out what's supposed to be special about you. You weren't even there when my original plan was in motion. Why are you trying so hard to stop me? Because it's what's right. Whoa, this is so much easier to do when you don't have your gauntlets. You were saying? Stop, Yurik. Do it. I dare you. Does it have to end this way, Yurik? If you just surrender, I'll- I'll never surrender! Damien, are you alright? Yeah. Is he? No, that should just buy us some time. Come on, let's go help the others. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Going somewhere? Ah! Are you okay, Alfred? Ah! Ah! You think some fancy armor's gonna save you? Are you ready to give up? Or do you want more? We're here! Did we miss anything important? I think I just took down that monster. What, the shapeshifter? Where? Aw, oh, crap. Where's Yurik? He's right where he needs to be. Yurik! Don't you dare try anything or I'll finish the job. I'd like to see you try. My finger's already on the trigger. You shoot, I shoot. Yurik, please. Oh, stop, will ya? Nothing you say, nothing you do, is going to convince me to give up. Everything I've worked for, everything I've accomplished on my own, has led up to this very moment. I am Yurik, savior of man. When are you going to acknowledge that I've won? Hey, I did a lot of the work too. Give credit where credit is due. Ha, oh, whoops, <laughs> that seems to have killed him. Yurik? No, Damien. It's me. Jason. My plan. That shapeshifter. It all ends today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Malfred, get in that shuttle. Now! Damien, I need you up on the bridge. ASAP! And Greg, to your ship. As quickly as possible. Got it. Wait, what? Why? I've got a plan. Trust me. Where do you think you're going? Damien and Craig better be ready.
Alright, Alec? I may not know what your plan is, but I hope it works. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. Ah! Ah! Why do you keep trying to run off? This is just one spaceship. No matter where you go, no matter how far you run, I'll always find you! What if we found a way to get you off the ship? <laughs> and how exactly do you plan on doing that? Now, Malfred! <laughs> Good job, Malfred. <sighs> that was your plan? To push me? <laughs> Damien, release escape pod 8B. Escape pod 8B, got it. Ugh. Escape pod? No! No! Releasing in 3, 2, 1. Activating thrusters. Uh, no! No! Alright, Greg, you're up. Go blow that thing to Kingdom Come. Copy that. All right, steady now. Aim. Fire! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> direct hit. Yes, Damien, we did it. All of this is finally over. Yeah, we did it. All right, Greg, you can go ahead and land. We're going to celebrate tonight! Right. Celebrate. Ah, Damien, there you are. I was going to talk to you about the plans to reconstruct Escape Pod 8B. I mean, with an Escape Pod missing, this thing might as well be called Space Shuttle Septipus, am I right? Damien? Why are we going to reconstruct an Escape Pod? That's what Escape Pods do. They detach and then you never see them again. Well, I know that. It's just that since we didn't use it as an Escape Pod, the safety crew still wants us to have it available. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> Look, Damien, I've avoided bringing this up, but it's already been a week since the fight with Yurik and the Shapeshifter, so I feel like I have to ask. Are you okay? <laughs> a week later, that's when you decide to ask. I'm fine, Alec. I'm fine. My ship was a part of an attempted takeover two times, and I witnessed someone die right in front of me. I'm fine, Alec. Well, when you put it like that, don't you see, Alec? This shouldn't have happened. If I was a good captain, this wouldn't have happened. Look, Damien, you can't just pin all of this on yourself. No, I can, and I will. This is my fault, this is your fault, this is General Matthew's fault, this is so many people's fault, and it just goes to show how unprepared the ship is for an attack. Everything was going so perfectly, until Yurik and the shapeshifter came out of nowhere, literally nowhere. If we're not ready for them, what happens when something bigger tries to get us? I'm, uh, I'm going to be in the captain's chamber.
Mm. You have everything packed? Mm. Look, Alfred, I respect your decision to move out. And I understand why you don't want to live with me anymore. But thank you for still helping out with Yurik and the shapeshifter. Mm. Just remember that if you ever want to come back, you'll always be welcome. You were my first true friend, Alfred. I hope we can continue being friends in the future. Mm. Oh, and, uh, Malfred. Mm. I really am sorry. And good luck trying to get her back. Mm. He'll come back. I know he will. Hey, uh, thanks for letting me stay in your room. Oh yeah, no problem. Are you gonna be alright? Oh no, yeah, I'll be fine. This is an upgrade from just sleeping on rocks back on Earth. Are... Are you going to be alright? <sighs> yeah. I'm okay. If you say so. Everyone on the ship is still recovering after what happened last week. And I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty tough. Everything was happening all too fast. And now, some relationships are broken. They can never go back to the way they used to be. All because of some bad people that just wanted to watch everything crash and burn. I suppose there will always be evil in the universe. And no matter what, there will always be bad people. With that said, there are good people on this ship. And those who are truly good will rise up and take responsibility. They don't have to be asked, they just do. Because at the end of the day, they know that what they're doing is right. As for me, well, now I just have to live every day as it passes, trying my best to move on. But you can never truly move on. You have to learn to take what you've experienced as an advantage. I know it's going to take Damien a while, but we can get through this together.